Hello, welcome to the channel. In Edge TX, there's a feature that allows you to assign a function to move the screen from one screen to the next. So if you set up multiple screens on your radio that you navigate by pressing the page right or page left key, you can move to different screens. You also have the ability to swipe and you can also set it up on a switch. So if I move the switch, I can move from one screen to the next. Let's get serious about it. Let's have the radio do it on its own. So I'm gonna flip that switch down. We'll just let the radio take care of scrolling through the screens for me. Pretty cool, huh? It's actually really simple to do this. Let me show you how it's done. The first thing you need to do is set up multiple telemetry screens. In my case, I've got four screens, but I'm only using three for the demo. You could just as easily do four, just follow the logic, but I'm gonna use three for this example, screen one, two, and three. So you have to set those up first. Then the next thing we'll do is hit the model button and we'll go over to logical switches and we need four of them. You can use any logical switch numbers you want. I just happen to use L18 for mine. And we'll start out by setting a timer first. So all this does is say how long this timer goes on and how long it goes off. And I've paired it with the SA down switch. So this functionality doesn't work unless I put my SA switch in the down position. When I put it into down position, you can see L18 just went active. That means it's on. And I turn the SA switch off, it's no longer active. So that's the first logical switch, a timer, and you can use whatever interval you want. In my case, just because it's an example, I have it set at one and a half seconds. If you'd like to slow that down, you could set it for two or three or five or whatever you want. Just remember that this is the time that it's on and this is the time that it's off. The next thing we need to do is set a logical switch rotation up and I'm using a little bit of logic trickery here and a sticky switch basically says on and off. So this is when it comes on, this is when it goes off. So every time L18 goes on, one of these lines 19, 20, or 21 go off. And anytime one goes off, the next one gets turned back on. So you can see in the case of L19, what happens is when L21 is turned off, L19 goes active. When L19 goes off, L20 goes active. And when L20 goes off, L21 goes active. So I'm gonna hit the SA down switch so you can watch the rotation right here in front of you. So SA down, the first one that goes on is L21. Now 18 lights and turns that one off. 18 light again and turn off 19. 18 lights again and turns off 20. So it just creates this little rotation on the screen. Now it's a simple matter of just applying these logical switches to special functions. Now the first example that I showed you had a hard-coded switch. So SE up, SE mid, and SE down set the main screen to one, two, or three. In the rotation example, I'm using L19, L20, and L21 to set the main screen to one, two, and three. And you can see because the logic is still working in the background, the special functions are activating. So if I go back out to the main screen, we'll continue to see that screen rotation. Just like that. Isn't that cool? I love Edge TX. Hope you liked the video. And if you did, subscribe and hit the bell so you know new videos hit the channel. YouTube should recommend another video for you right now. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy and get out there and fly something.